Hi friends, welcome back to the house for a drink. If this is your first time joining us, I'm Dana. I'm Art. So, if you're new to the channel, we like to go out on a few adventures and pick up what we can. We like tasting new spirits. We like sharing them with you. So on our latest adventure, we joined up with Ohio Car Meats and took a little trip down to Tale of the Dragon, where Art made sure to get me thoroughly sick. <laughs> <laughs> Car sick. Um, on our way back from visiting that beautiful area, we had to stop and do the tourist thing in Gatlinburg. And where we stopped? Our good friends, Old Smokey. Yeah. So, as we decided to stop at Old Smokey, we basically just walked in, slapped down five bucks, and got five tastings. Yeah, if you have not visited one of their locations, you absolutely must. Uh, we went to the one called The Holler there in Gatlinburg. There's two different ones in Gatlinburg. And it is a massive tasting and shopping experience, <laughs> we'll say that. It is. It is definitely an experience. Yeah. And you get to buy all the different flavors that you can typically find in a store in, in a basically a liquor beverage center but you also get to try and buy distillery exclusives like the one that we are going to taste today I'm a southern boy I love <laughs> banana pudding so what we picked up today or not today but we picked up there while we were there <laughs> was banana pudding moonshine so Yes. Yes. <laughs> you heard me correct. Banana pudding moonshine. So, this right here is supposed to have flavors of banana, vanilla wafers, cream, caramel, all the joys in life when they are mixed together to make this such delicious dessert. <laughs> uh, and it's all distilled from corn. Yes. So, that right there is a mind trip. But I'm really excited to try this and see if it really comes through. And see if it comes through with the flavors? Yeah. And just a, a note for you out there, if, if you are lactose intolerant, this is not the shine for you. No. It does have milk products in yeah, it. Yeah, it, it does have cream <laughs> in it. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, unfortunately, can't try this. But make sure you also stick around because we have a seasonal bonus that is also a distillery exclusive that we're going to open up after this. So you ready to give this a shot? Literally? <laughs> yes, I'm ready to give this a shot. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Should I go pull out the ready whip and do a little... Oh, no, no, no. Not, not on this one. <laughs> not on this. Give it a good little mix there. Mmm, <laughs> nice heavy pour. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like liquid bananas. That smells just like banana pudding. Man. Uh, Mouth-watering yet? Watering? Watering. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I'm ready to drink this. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, man. <laughs> so, it definitely does taste like banana pudding that was put in a blender with a little bit of whiskey heat on it just a tad <laughs> it to me when i it, it tastes like when i'm making a banana pudding like before it sets and gels, oh yeah okay just like warm banana pudding yep and then uh after i sit here for a minute i can begin to feel that you know warm yeah happening mm -hmm. in the belly yeah it, it that little bit of warmth reminds you you're drinking alcohol 
and that's it but it does not take away from the taste and this is 35 proof so very low but enough that it'll get you if you drink too much of this <laughs> low on the abv so this would be alcohol wise probably on par with a high-end wine um that's very good i can definitely see sipping that over some ice yeah and we have to make sure we refrigerate this because it does have a uh, milk and cream and soy in it so oh, make sure and we do soy. that yep mm. shake well so this is one that if you are a fan of banana pudding like we are and you happen to be either in Gatlinburg, Nashville or Pigeon Forge you need to stop by Old Smoky and pick one of these up. Uh, I think there were what, 25 a jar? I think jar? it was about 25 yeah. of the jar. And the jar is a full 750. So. And they have deals that if you buy X amount, you will either get free <laughs> jars or you will get a free cooler or a free bag. Yeah. Uh, that, that's The more you buy, the more the bigger your goodie bag literally literally gets <laughs> yes to the point where you can have a bag with wheels to carry everything out <laughs> we did not do that we didn't buy that many <laughs> we held back but it's definitely it's really good if you have family and friends who love spirits they love old smoky they like some of these different flavors of shine and you're in the area stop by stock up instant Christmas present oh yeah definitely and make sure you stay tuned with the channel because we're likely going to make a couple of videos on some cocktails with these mmm so looking forward to that <laughs> alright so now we're gonna just clean up our hardware here a little bit and try out the seasonal bonus. Take Ready? pause. Time out. Time! <laughs> Alright, for the seasonal bonus. Tis the season that everything is turning towards <laughs> this. So why not shine too? This is pumpkin pie. And I know you're thinking, oh. <laughs> so basic. Yes. <laughs> and that's what I did at the bar when Mimi, our host, actually <laughs> rolled this up and I was thinking, oh no, not this too. <laughs> but it was actually pretty damn good. Good yeah. enough to where we had to buy a jar. If nothing else, buy a jar to share with your friends, especially some of those who are fanatics about pumpkin spice. Yes, absolutely. And this is a distillery exclusive as well, so you can only get it there in Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, or Nashville. So we definitely had to get a jar of it. Now, this one has been broken open by I don't know who. Someone. I have no idea. Uh, but primarily <laughs> we did break it open when we were visiting my mom and dad so they can try it out because we love sharing this with them in person before we do reviews of them so they kind of get a little a little backstage access <laughs> before everybody else gets to see it uh, this promises to taste everything like pumpkin pie the cinnamon the nutmeg the pumpkin puree and based on the little tasting it really really does but now I'm interested in a bigger portion of that tasting. <laughs> yes. And the, seeing how it does. The tasting is very, very small pours, so it'll be good to get a nice, solid taste. Yes. And this is 40 proof. like Halloween on this table now. <laughs> All we need is one of the pumpkins from the side. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that smells like pumpkin pie. It does. <laughs> it absolutely does. So for you pumpkin spice latte fans, I bet you could pour this in your coffee and it would taste just like a PSL. That is actually one of the recipes out there for this, to put it in your coffee. Yes. Screw that. So we may have to try that out. Cheers. Definitely more burn, but not overpowering. This is nice, easy. But I can tell right off the bat that this is alcoholic. Yeah. Uh, it is incredibly smooth, and the pumpkin flavor is very light. Mm -hmm. It's not overwhelming. You, you get the spices that are added into this but it's not candy-ish. It's definitely not overwhelming on the alcohol piece to it. I would it is, say it's balanced across the board between the alcohol, the sweetness, the pumpkin, and the spice. Did you get more warmth from this or the banana pudding? Do I get more what? Warmth. Warmth? Yeah. I get more from the banana pudding than I do this. Which is odd, but... I think the difference between the pumpkin pie for me and the banana pudding on the warmth is I'm feeling the warmth up front with the pumpkin pie, and I'm feeling it on the back end with the banana pudding. Okay. I'm not feeling any warmth at all from this. It is sweet. It is smooth. It's very delicious. If you I'm... keep drinking it, you'll be feeling warm. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh... But I'm anxious to try this out in some cocktails and see how it does. I have one in mind. Ooh. So we'll be making some additional videos to our channel that we'll be throwing in some different cocktails with some of the spirits that we do reviews with, uh, just to mix it up a little bit. So some will be shorts, some may be a little bit longer. So. Definitely make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you like this content and want to follow along and see more. But, hey, let us know if you've actually hit any of the locations and you picked up any of the exclusives that you can only get there. Uh, we'd love to hear what your thoughts are, especially if you've tried one of these two already. And if you haven't tried these two and you do appreciate Old Smokey, Comment down. Let us know what your favorite flavor is that you've had and what flavors you're most looking forward to trying. Yeah, they have so many flavors. I wanted to stick with those that we have not tried or are not widely available. That's really what I wanted to go you after. You frowned upon the dill pickle. Oh, we won't even go there. <laughs> we won't even go with the pickle shine. We won't even go there. All right. Thanks once again, everybody, for joining us. We greatly appreciate it. Till next time, take care, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.